So, I just wanted to talk a little more about these uh, gas prices. You know, I'm coming up with solutions here. I'm an idea generator. I love to think about how to solve problems. Like, remember in the, in the 70s, there was, uh, there was these uh, cars that they ran on methane gas and these buses that ran on methane gas. Why couldn't we make like, you know, the Linden cogeneration plant, you know? Gas from human waste, you know, running the buses. That might work, or, or from farm animals or something like that. That might work too. Um, maybe that's a bad idea. Another way we could uh, come up with some money, perhaps, is uh, we'd come up with a, a way of uh, giving like a tax credit or like some sort of a point system that turns into money for every mile you pedal your bike. You know, maybe it could be hooked up to some sort of GPS coordinate thing. And the more you'd walk or the more you'd ride your bike, you'd get like a tax credit. That might work too. Um, just different ideas. You know, like, uh, or if you have horses. If your horses take you a certain amount of miles and you can prove it, you'd get a tax credit. Just the same as farmers in other places, uh, and especially uh, in, I guess, our country. Uh, they get tax credits not to raise certain crops. You get paid not to make things. Maybe that's a solution. Uh, coming up with new ideas all the time. I don't know, I like to think about this stuff. Do you guys like to think about this? I mean, you know, just uh, put in the comments below, uh, you know, you know, am I, am I barking up the wrong tree? Probably, but you know, it's like, what are your ideas? Maybe you could post a video. How can we, uh, you know, drive for free or for almost nothing? How can we uh, stop uh, uh, our dependence on this foreign Middle Eastern oil? All right, just some things to chew on. All right, thanks. Hi, so I had a, one of the subscribers or one of you YouTubers that inquired in the comment section on uh, the mile per gallon rating for the uh, vehicles. 2012, the government uh, vehicles, they said, uh, you know, I can't believe gas is going to $4 a gallon. Meanwhile, in Iran, they have these uh, gunman speedboats uh, uh, bothering U.S. naval ships. Uh, all our oil comes from the Middle East, mostly, still. Uh, so, of course, with increased tensions, uh, it's going to disrupt the supply ships and other things. And all this turmoil, along with uh, investor speculation, uh, running up the stock price possibly, uh, it's going to um, all it's going to make for higher gas prices by summer when more people are driving. Now, in the let me see, 2004 gas was a dollar fifty a gallon. I took some major road trips because at $1.50 a gallon, I'm like, that's nothing, that's cheap. Think about it, in the last seven years, it's gone up uh, uh, to 350 a gallon, it's more than doubled. So, that's something you wanna think about. Uh, things have more than doubled, so going up another 45 cents, I don't think that's a, that's a big stretch. Uh, you need to come up with some sort of a uh, better gas mileage on cars or cheaper gas, right? Uh, and you know, energy has to come from something, right? You can't just <laughs> you can't just hope that you can put something in the tank from nothing and make it into something. You know, it has to come from some source. Uh, you can't turn nothing into something. Uh, so that's the conundrum there. Uh, about that a little bit. Ah, it's a beautiful day, anyhow. I'm loving it. For January, this is great weather. Climate change, right? It's, you know, it's probably just a nice mild winter, which we uh, deserve. But gas prices, back to gas prices, you know, it's like, say, say for example, you're making $300 a week, and yet you have to drive like uh, 50 miles each way to work, so you, you're gonna burn through $80, $80 to $100 just in gas. Say so you make $450 a week, but you get tax, and then, then you have to come up with your, your fuel prices and then your insurance, so the thing is, yeah, you're working, you're going through the motions, but the economics is like this, is that you're going through the motions, but more and more of your 
more money that you could buy things at Walmart or wherever, Kmart, Kohl's, uh, I don't know, Macy's. You're spending on fuel. And uh, like the, the K1 kerosene that heats my little home, you know, that's 4 dollars a gallon right now. Uh, so you're spending more and more money on fuel just to get by, more and more money on, uh, on food. So more of your money isn't disposable, it's just going to survival type things. And so that's going to slow the economy down and less and less money is going out along with these increased foreclosures. They said uh, the foreclosure rate is increasing. Uh, because things were tied up in the courts and now that they're, they're starting to work through the courts again so they're going to start to seize houses uh, you're going to get kicked out of your big mansions because something has to come from something it doesn't come from nothing you can't turn nothing into something you have to you have to start with something and yes you can uh, turn 20 cents into a dollar just the same as I turned my bicycle $20 bike into a hundred dollars you can't turn nothing into something unless you're really smart and lucky it's possible but it's, it's more far-fetched so that's my take on uh, kind of the news about oil prices the economy you have to turn something into something greater the law of increase right and uh, in terms of gas prices you know going to go up so you want to get a gas efficient car or reduce your commute if you can i don't know there's no easy answers that's why it's so much fun all right take care guys